Today, I want to give you some updates wa that were released by, by Uber um, in the evening of uh, 20th uh, August 2024. You know, in the, in the last few months, we have seen a lot of um, discomfort from taxi drivers, both from, um, from Bolt, Uber, and, uh, and Faras, and, and Litro Cab. Okay, we have seen a lot of them being, um, uh, you know, agitated, going to the streets. And when they realized that they are not being listened to, they decided to do something. They decided to set their own prices. So a lot of drivers in the, in the last few weeks, if you have taken a cab, you will realize that they are negotiating their own prices. So these taxi companies could not ignore that. And actually, I have discussed with a number of drivers and they are saying that in the last one month, the number of trips they receive has really gone down. They, they used to, to carry maybe up to 15 uh, customers per day. Right now, it is even difficult for them to carry even five customers. Why? Because a lot of customers who use Uber, Bolt, and Retrocab and the rest, they feel threatened by the drivers. So what has, has it cost them? They are now preferring to use motorbikes or just using the public transport. And for, for that reason, you know, everybody is now getting to a point whereby everybody is losing business, including the application companies themselves like Uber and Bolt and who, whoever. Because the fact that drivers are now negotiating too much with the, with the riders, riders are not feeling actually comfortable asking for, this, um, for these trips because they don't know what type of, um, you know, argument will emerge when they start uh, these discussions with the driver. So... In light of all that, Uber, Uber seemed to have listened to, to, to the drivers. But I just want to give you a breakdown of what they announced and how it will impact you as a driver, as well as the many passengers and the many customers who use the Uber application. So what did they say? They said that they have increased um, the, the minimum price by 10% for the chap chap category. So the chap chap is is the most uh, is the most popular um, ride category. It is the cheapest. It is the basic car, so that only serves you the purpose of getting to your destination. Things of comfort, space, and capacity is really really small, and it is disregarded. So initially, the chap chap category had a minimum price of uh, of two hundred shillings. So th that was the minimum price. And right now, if you order any Uber taxi, you will never pay anything less than 220. So that is the minimum price that this app have, have set. And then I had an opportunity to discuss with, um, with a few drivers and ask them what this meant to them, whether they were happy with this or whether they were not happy with it. So what this simply means is that Uber has just increased 20 shillings per trip, per shortest trip. And remember that this, sh the shortest trips are, not, are very rare. A lot of time, uh, you know, these are trips that would range between, between zero to, to like three kilometers. Okay, so anything between zero and three kilometers is what is considered as the minimum trip and it is paid Minimum of 200, but now it is going to 220. So what Uber did not talk about, okay? There are so many things that uh, they did not talk about. And a lot of drivers, you know, they think that this 10% increase is really, really insignificant. Nobody will feel it. So drivers will not feel any increase in the pocket. And that riders will not feel any heat or any increase in pricing when they order their next trip. So if you're ordering any trip that is more than three kilometers, the price will remain the same. If you're ordering a trip of, let's say, even 20 kilometers, even the, the 20 shillings, the 10% will not apply in these scenarios because they have only added it to the minimum trip to the minimum price per trip, which is dictated by anything less than three kilometers. So something else they did not talk about. You know, in Uber, we have the we have the chap chap. Okay, we have the Uber X, 
we have the Uber Comfort and we have the Uber XL. Okay, so XL is the is it seven or six seater capacity? Comfort it's the bigger reg room, and then the X is a bit comfortable. So the you know anything that is a new car that it's definitely four seater, but then slightly bigger than the small cars that are the six fifty cc's and you know the one thousand and the like. So they did not say anything about the 10% uh, application within the other categories. So if you used to order Uber X, Uber Comfort, Uber XL, um, the price could still remain the same. So you as a driver, no more money for you. You as a rider, no more cost for you when you order your next trip. So let me tell you what driver had, uh, what Uber drivers had asked for. So what were the driver's demands? What were the driver's demands? The drivers were demanding that, number one, the minimum, the minimum price should be Kenya shillings, 300. That's what they wanted. Okay? Right now, it has been brought to, to 220. So still, 80 shillings short of what the drivers were demanding. And then the second thing is that they did not want you know, the increase of just 10% in the minimum price. What they wanted is an increase in price per kilometer. So that is what the drivers wanted. And I think this is something that is very, very well thought. It's something that honestly could create a difference in the driver's earnings as well as, you know, it's something that could have made a difference in you know, where drivers lose money when it comes to them spending so much time on the road and not making money. What were they saying? Right now, Uber is pricing their price per kilometer at uh, around, at, I think the last time I, 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 I checked was that two shillings per kilometer. Okay? So, I, you are wondering, how then do you pay 200 for a three-kilometer journey? So there is what they call the minimum price. So regardless of whether you are traveling 30 kilometers, no, three kilometers, two kilometers, or, or one kilometer, you will pay a minimum of 220 right now. But anything that is beyond the three kilometers, there is a way they apply that formula so that on top of the formula, they you will be charged that two shillings per kilometer spent and then four shillings per minute. So that, this is how they used to, to compute this. And, you know, for the drivers, they were saying, for example, if you add even just one shilling per kilometer, it could make a very, very huge difference if you just charge an extra one shilling per kilometer. Because ideally, what do drivers do? They, they will drive around 200 kilometers per day. Okay. So this will amount to how many? This will amount to like 200 shillings per day automatically. Okay? And then whenever a, a, a passenger is driven an extra distance from where they had said they want to drop, then that one shilling will, would always apply. So drivers were guaranteed that if Uber had just acted on increasing even one shilling per kilometer, then drivers would make at least 200 shillings per day extra, which it's very substantive because this is a liter of, of petrol. And then, okay, for instance, if you compare this with the 10% with the increase on the minimum fare, I'm telling you, not many drivers make more than, more than five trips of minim that require minimum price. What do I mean? Most of the trips that drivers will make per day are more than three kilometers. Okay? Meaning that the 10% increase will not apply to them. If you just do two or three trips that apply to the minimum trip price, it means that the driver will just get 60 shillings on top. If you just do three, three trips, okay? So what the drivers will get on top of what they are getting right now is just 60 shillings. But if you added just one shilling per kilometer, 
drivers will make a minimum of 200 per day and then the passenger will not actually even feel the heat the passenger will not feel the heat because if you add them just one shilling per kilometer how much heat will they feel meaning that if they do 10 kilometers you are just adding them 10 shillings you get my point that is very very small 10 kilometers is, is like someone traveling from from Roisambu to, to town if they were being charged let's say 200 no 550 you just charge them 560 honestly that is something very negligible and at the end of the day it could cause a very very good impact in the driver's pocket without making the passenger feel the heat so really um i think uber drivers were not impressed they were not impressed and i also stand with them because i think uh, if a game is done on the side of um price per kilometer um price per kilometer that would be a tick minimum minimum per trip per trip that is a game that we don't want to accept because it doesn't change anything so let me know what you think and i hope that um you know this has given you some insight and i hope even these guys from uber they can watch this and then you know um make some better decisions for the drivers to continue um supporting people to to move around the city